Hello uh, YouTubers, um, uh, today I'm going to be uh, talking about a problem I had with my uh, wife's Jeep Liberty. It's a 2010 Jeep Liberty. Um, it's got some lots of electrical issues. Uh, so what happened was uh, came home one evening, or the be here. Uh, Came home one evening, and and uh, the the brake lights uh, stayed on after we turned off the car. So um, so no matter what, the brake lights wouldn't turn turn off. So what we did um, actually about a while ago this happened too. So um, so what happened was I checked all the bulbs in the car and they were all good check the fuses they're all good i checked them one by one in the fuse box here i checked all the fuses and um, the fuses for the fuse for the brake light switch is this one right here took that out the brake light went out and uh, after that since I knew the fuse was good, I even took out each fuse individually, checking to see if the brake lights would go out or not, and the relays. I took all the relays out. Nothing. The lights would stay on, so I was getting constant power. Um, then I took out um, PCM connectors here, all four of them. Inspected all the wires, and they were all they were all good. There were no breaks or anything in there so then what i did was this is all for the brake lights i took out the junction box the entire junction box there's a video on youtube for that and inspected all the wires for any issues any breaks or anything like that they were all good then i checked all the grounds i know these jeeps have a lot of electrical issues and a lot of them deal with bad grounds um checked all the grounds in the engine compartment there's quite a few um, they all checked out fine uh, so then I went and checked the, um, found online that there was a service manual for this and looking through the diagrams in there I was able to tr track um, all the wires and see where they went and it's got figures and stuff so Anyway, about a few months ago when this happened, the problem I had was uh, with the brake switch. This piece over here went bad, I guess. So, so this is a one-time use only. It says right on there, do not reinstall. So I took that out a few months ago and put a new one in. The brake lights worked just fine. So this happened again this time. So I, I thought I had the same problem. So I went over to AutoZone and got me a new brake switch. Put that in, no luck. The brake lights would just still stay on. So, so I used all kinds of tests on um, the connectors for the brake light switch. I mean, for the for the rear lights, they all passed. These connectors were getting. Uh, I'm open one of these up. They were getting 12 volts, but they were getting constant 12 volts even um, when the car was off. So everywhere I looked online, they would mention the brake switch, the brake switch. So obviously since I bought a couple of brake switches and that didn't fix the problem, um, I had to take apart all the panels to check each wire individually. Um, the um, service manual and someone um, mentioned online that the problems with the rear lights, um, rear brake lights, or a lot of times uh, they have to do with uh, the tow, the tow package that this comes with. So I disconnected this connector here, and I even took out the relays in the fuse box for the tow package, but the lights still remained. So. 
researching further, I, um, on the, in the service manual, I mentioned the relays for the tow package and it said it would be in, behind uh, in the rear right quarter panel D, so which is this side of the car. It's the right side of the car. So it says reach, there's a hole in there. Reach through that hole. I don't know if you can see that. There should be an envelope, a foam envelope, and the relays in there. I looked in there, there was no foam and there was no envelope. So, so that's why I took out, apart the whole, um, all these panels, even from the side. I took out apart all these panels. I even removed the seats. You can see this one is still, it's not in place yet. But I couldn't find the relays. So, um, I took a, apart the instrument panel also, unconnected all the wires, just to see if they had anything to do with it. But no, the lights, the brake lights still stayed on. So anyway, so today I decided to um, check the power for the brake light switch. And I found the wire that was connected to the power on the brake light switch on, the pin, on pin one. So I, I tracked that back. I tracked that back underneath. All the way back. All the way back, it went up. Okay. It came through here. It's, uh, it was this green, green and red wire right here. This is the power coming from the brake light switch back to here. So this was powering, down, uh, powering uh, the brake lights on both sides. Um, forgot to mention, when the brake lights came on, even the center top one came on. That one got out either. So I, as you can see, the screws are still out. I took this apart. I'm, I, dis I disconnected that. So thinking that maybe there's a short to ground on those, but that wasn't the issue. See, as you can see, I took out the panel here too. I did a lot of work just for brake lights. Okay. Anyway, it was worth it. So when I tracked this um, this power coming from the switch to here, it went down and it went through this hole here. You can see that. There's an access hole here. It went through here. I was thinking that it was spliced into the connectors somehow, but it wasn't. When I pulled this, when I pulled this out. When I pulled that out, a whole new set of wires came out of there with the connect relays wrapped in foam, just like this. When I took this out, it was completely damp. I mean, it was soaked. And there was also water here. So the relays were completely damp. So that was my problem. So as soon as I disconnected this, uh, all three relays, my um, brake lights turned off. So that fixed everything. So now what I'm gonna do is uh, find out how I got this uh, water leak from. And what, what I'm gonna do is see if there's, you can see up top, there's water marks here. And same thing on the other side, there's marks there. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, put some water on top of the car and see if where the leaks come from and maybe make another video out of that. Thank you for watching.